Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Actions for first time users on Windows. So if you're on Mac or if you've already bought Actions for us before, check the other links uh, and uh, follow the correct video for you. Okay, so with that said, um, first thing I'm going to do is open up Photoshop to uh, get it ready. Then I'm going to go and take a look in my download folder. So once downloaded, it's almost certainly going to be in your download folder and all I'm going to do is just move it across to my desktop. now. That is optional. Uh, you could unzip it right in your download folder if you want to, but I'm just gonna move it across to my desktop and you'll see it'll be in a zip folder like this. Then what we need to do is right click and extract all. Now, for some reason, Windows will put the folder we want in a subfolder. So once it's unzipped, you see we've got these little plus icons here as well. Double click into here and this is the folder that we want. And we need to put this into our C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it down here. You can right click and you can copy and paste this into your C drive if it's easier. I'm just going to drag it over here and let go of it into C drive like that. And I'm going to go into C drive. Now it must go into C drive or your actions won't work. Okay, it's the way that actions are shared on Windows computers. So it has to go in C drive. And on another note, you cannot edit the file names or anything like that. Okay, you must leave the file names the same otherwise the actions again won't work because when the actions run they're looking for a file or a folder named the names that they're already named okay so you can't um, name them or anything so once you've got this unzipped and you've got the subfolder into your C drive I'm going to come into this folder I'm just going to go into art PSDs I'm going to open this up with Photoshop because it just makes it a little bit easier to see your actions okay you can open up any any image in Photoshop and to see your actions, <clears throat> first of all, you need to have your layers showing over here. To do that, you come up to Window. You can uncheck anything from 3D to version history and just make sure you've got layers checked there. And then to see your actions, you click these uh, tiny little arrows here and you can see your action uh, panel pops out. Now you can also go to Window and check actions there and it pops out like this and you can expand it down like this as well. Now your actions will look different to mine depending on what you've got installed and I've got these two already installed that I just gonna need to delete which I should have deleted before I started this video so just ignore that while I get rid of those okay so you've opened up uh, an image or or the artwork PSD in Photoshop you've got your layers showing and you click these two arrows to show your actions here and yours will look different to mine okay uh, once you've done that come back into your uh, in fact no don't come back into your folder come up to these three little lines up here click this and then click load actions okay and then go to your C drive go into your designs for pod.com actions go into assets okay and click and load okay and you can see over here on our uh, actions panel we now have uh, save our an 11 ounce white mugs volume one. Now it doesn't matter, the installation process and the files will be in exactly the same place. So you may have bought a completely different set of mockups, uh, but you will have the R action or actions depending some uh, will need multiple uh, R actions, but you'll have save our actions and your actual volume of your mockup actions there as well. Okay. Um, and that's it they're installed and ready to go uh, each set will come with its own video that shows you how to run them uh, but just on another note <clears throat> um, the mock-up PSDs are in this folder here and again you can't rename them and you can't edit these PSDs in this folder otherwise you'll break the actions now if you do want to edit the PSDs or anything like that or do anything else with the PSDs I recommend you right click and you copy this folder and let's just go and paste it on my desktop over here okay and then if you want to do anything individually with the PSDs separate from your actions you can open up these PSDs and use them individually or whatever you want to do with them okay but whatever you do don't edit them within the actions folder okay and that's it those are installed and ready to go okay thanks guys bye for now